advice on tables and charts. My first piece of advice is to always read the scales. So looking at this one, for example, the y-axis is going up in tens, so each small division is one, but the x-axis is going up in twenties, so here each small division is two. And they often do that, put different scales on both the axes. So make sure you check and understand the scales before you start the question. My second piece of advice is about these big tables. It is really important that you read the table before you start. Take time to look at the table, understand how it works, and make sure that you understand any examples they give you before you go on to the questions. And finally, timetables. Okay, so we would call this train the 1107 from Bangor. So the examiner could ask you what time, how long a journey on the 1107 would take from Merle to Chester. So they're telling you it's the 1107, but the journey is from Merle to Chester. So this is the time difference you'd be looking at. Okay? And the other thing they do is they give you more than one timetable. So for example here, we've got a timetable going from Cumbran to Newport and then from Newport to Bristol. Now the mistake people make is they think that if they're on the 1201, then they have to stay on this train to Bristol. But in actual fact, if you're on the 1201 from Cumbran, you arrive in Newport at 12.10, so that's when you're at the station. So therefore you could catch the 12.30 or if you wanted to you could hang around and catch the 12.50. So these two timetables are independent.